Virgin Airlines is under pressure to improve the pay and working conditions of its workers across the country. Virgin Australia workers have ramped up their campaign for better conditions as the company prepares to go public three years after entering voluntary administration. Virgin Airlines is facing a revolt from within unless there is a significant improvement in both pay and conditions for employees. Virgin staff have gathered at Brisbane Airport, signs in hand, banded together, pushing for better respect and job security. Calling on company owners Bain Capital to commit to a five-point plan. The plan, submitted by the Transport Workers Union, includes a commitment for an industry reform and an annual $1,000 share scheme. These workplace leaders behind me represent uh, a Virgin workforce that is exhausted and angry. And it's a workforce that's exhausted and angry because they are overworked and they're undervalued. Airline staff claim they were the ones making all the sacrifices under an agreement called emergency settings, which saw wages frozen, many pay rates actually cut, overtime slashed and leave entitlements put to one side. Its aim was to keep Virgin Airlines viable during the dark days of 2020, when the airline was placed into administration, followed hard by the business-destroying COVID pandemic. And these workers have taken pay decreases have had their work conditions slashed and still we're in emergency settings territory. The union says with Virgin's majority shareholder, investment firm Bain Capital, now enjoying healthy profits, it's time to reward those employees at the coalface. These workers, just as they are willing to fight to get this airline back in the air, are willing to fight to make sure there are good jobs at Virgin.